Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs using Canva. So if you're new to print on demand or t-shirt designing or would like to learn some new tips and tricks on how to uh, better use Canva, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be making this design right here. It says, don't worry. And if you're not familiar with what this design is, don't worry about it. This is a serotonin molecule with some happy faces in it. Um, this is for Mental Health Awareness Month. And so anybody who's familiar with chemistry, pharmacology, or anybody who's taking an SSRI or an SNRI would um, possibly recognize this serotonin molecule. Um, so it's a pretty easy design to make. We use a couple of frames and then just some lines actually to, to sort of draw out the molecule. So if you'd like to learn how to make this design, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're starting with our blank backdrop. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels because that is the standard uh, t-shirt uh, design size for Merch by Amazon. I am going to be designing on a black backdrop because black is the most commonly sold t-shirt color. So I'm gonna click on my backdrop come up to the left hand corner where it says background color. I'm gonna click that and then I'm going to select black. So this is what I'm going to be designing on. So for this design, I am going to be creating my own serotonin molecule. But for reference, I am gonna look for a serotonin molecule um, to pull up down here just so I have reference for it. So if I come up to elements, oops, and I do a search on elements, here we go, for serotonin, and I can search graphics, it'll come up with the different molecules. So these would be examples of what it's going to look like. I'm just gonna use this one for reference. So I'm gonna start here, I'm just gonna pull this one down again. This is just my reference material. So as you can see, as I'm referencing it, what I have here is one hexagon. So that one's got six sides. And then, and then I've got one pentagon, which is one, two, three, four, five sides. And so I'm going to pull these up into frames because this is what I'm gonna start with for my frames. So if I come up to elements, I'm gonna search for frames. Oops. It's not the one I want. I want the one that has the little heart there. So that's gonna pull up your actual frames. Now you can do a search within frames too. So let's say I wanted to just search this way. I could put hexagon and see if it came up and it did. So here is a hexagon frame. That's pretty easy to start with. And it will be oriented like this because as you can see, it is going to be matching that right there. So that is what I'm starting with. And then the other one that I want would be a pentagon, which you can see I'm not finding a normal pentagon. Now I know they do have one, so it must be under a different name. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll until I find it. Unfortunately, everything isn't always named properly, but as I said, I know they do have one. So there is my hexagon, and as I keep scrolling down here, I will find a pentagon. There it is, okay. So what are they calling this? They're calling it a decagon. Okay. Well, we're gonna start with this one. And so you can see this. You can see how it would fit in right there. So that is going to be our reference. And I need to angle and make it a little bigger. There we go. So that's the approximate shape that we're going to be starting with. I am going to want to put a little border around these two. But for now, this is what I'm starting with. So within these, what I want to do is put some smiley face type designs. So I can come ahead, go ahead and come up back to my elements search and I can search for happy face, smiley face, however I want. So you might have to search for a while. I do need it to be a photo though, because I'm gonna drop it in the frame. So it has to be a photo to drop it in. 
And so you can see there's a lot that, of different things you can choose from. So let's say I wanted to go with this one. And you can see how I can drop it in. And now unfortunately, because of the way I've got this rotated, ah, see that's gonna bug me. It doesn't wanna let me rotate the photo. It's gonna be at an angle, but that's okay. So you can see how we're, how we're gonna do this. We're gonna make some smiley faces. So again, there's different ones that you can choose from. You might have to search a little bit to get what you want. So those happy faces, I could put smiley face, that might work better. Oops, smiley face. Again, I got a little post-it here. Got a little dude in sunglasses, that one's kind of cute. Something like that. So you can play around with which ones you wanna find. Lots of different things to choose from. I have already picked the ones that I want. So for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and use my recently used because I have already selected the ones that I want. And that would be this one here and this one here are some awesome smiley faces. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my smiley face here. And I'm going to make it big enough so that it goes edge to edge. I don't want to cut off the face at all, but I do want the yellow to go all the way to the edges like that. And then the next one I'm going to do is going to be, whoop, where'd my other one go? My little smiling guy. I'm going to drop in this second box right here. Ta-da. And I can move this one around a little bit. So I'm gonna make this one nice and big again. Move it around so it's kind of centered. And I want it to take up most of the page or most of the box. So maybe something like that. Cool. So now you can see how this is coming along. I'm gonna bring this down here. Now you can see I'm having trouble lining these up exactly with my with my mouse, but if I click on it and I use the arrow keys on my keyboard, I can just push the down arrow and it's gonna move it down one pixel at a time. So it's a lot easier to line things up. So now you can see it's lined up pretty perfectly. And then from here, if I wanna put like a border around here and I do, now I'm just gonna look for some shapes. So I'm gonna come back up to elements and this time I'm just gonna type in the names of these shapes. So I'm gonna be typing in hexagon. So I'm starting with hexagon here and I'm just gonna pull up a regular blank hexagon. Ideally one where I can change the color if you wanna be able to, but for right now white is fine. And I'm going to take this hexagon and I'm gonna have to orient it so that it lines up perfectly with this one in terms of the angle. So something like that, and I'm gonna put it on top. Now, here's a trick. I can either move it to the back and try to angle it, or what I can do is I can make it kind of see-through so that I can see where it's gonna line up with my photo. To do that, I can click on this, come to the right-hand corner, there's some boxes here, it says transparency. It looks like a little checkered box. So if I click that, I can bring the transparency down. And so now you can see as I bring the transparency down, I can see the image that I have underneath. So bringing this transparency down now, I can make sure that this is centered and looks nice. Now, right now it is centered, it does look nice, but it's got a little bit thicker edge than I want. So maybe I wanna make it a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And now I want to make sure that it is still angled and centered nice. So right now it doesn't quite look perfect. If I angle it just a little bit more, I can play with that. I can move it in using the arrow keys on my keyboard until I think I've got it just the way I want it. Once I have it the way I like it, I can click it again. I can get rid of that transparency, so now it's solid again. And then I can just go ahead, right click, and send to back. And so now you can see I've got a little border around my, around my design. Now I can do the same thing here, searching for Pentagon. So here's my Pentagon. Again, I'm just gonna pick a solid one. Oh, this one has two colors, I don't want that. I just want one with one color. That'll do, I can change the color of this one. I'll make it white. Perfect. 
And so now I am going to repeat the process I just did and try to line this up as best I can. So I'm gonna bring it here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring down the transparency so I can see through it. And now I can move it so that it's right where I want it to be. So I can resize it so it's a little bit smaller. I can use my arrow keys to try to line it up a little bit more. I can play with the angle. So I think right there is angled pretty good. Let's see, okay, so that border is looking pretty good there. So now I can click on it again and get rid of the transparency and send this to back. And so there I have my border around my, my little smiley faces. So now to recreate this, I'm gonna have to put some lines in. So I'm gonna be using just lines. So if I hit L on my keyboard, now it's just gonna pull up a line. And so now I can change this line by making it thicker, adding ends to it. If I come up to the left-hand corner now, it'll say line style. I can put line weight down here so I can make it nice and thick or thin. I want it to be about as thick as the borders that I have around my shapes. So however thick I think that is, you can change here to have rounded ends or straight ends. I can make it dotted. If I put rounded ends, whoop, I can do that. And so now if I take a look at this, you've got some nice rounded ends, nice line. So I'm gonna take this line up here I'm gonna put right there. Now I'm gonna angle it so that it's going to kind of match that design down there. And so let's say I'm gonna do it something like that. And there's my line. Again, I can play with it. So if it's not quite lining up the way I want, I can use my arrow keys to move it over, to move it down. And so there's my line just like that. Now I can just keep doing this. So I'm gonna hit L again and repeat the process. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and make it thicker. Helps if I remember how thick I had it. So I can always look at this one to figure it out. I can come up to this one and just remember how thick I made it. I made it a 49. So I'll make all of these a nice 49. I can even type in 49 if I just wanna be exact there. And I gave all of these a rounded edge. So I can come up here and put rounded edge here. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of change my angles here. So this one is pretty straight, small, something like that. And again, I can move it over, line it up however I want. And so you can see the way that this is coming along. If I wanna get a little bit closer, let's say I can't see very well, I can always zoom in on my page down here. So at the bottom it says zoom. I can zoom in nice and close if I need to so that it's nice and big on my screen. Now I can see it a lot easier. So from here, I can use the arrows on my keyboard to really make that look nice. And so now I'm gonna add one more line and we're just gonna keep repeating the process. Another easy way, instead of just adding lines and having to redo it is I can duplicate these lines. So I can click here and I can just put control D and it's just going to duplicate the line. So now I have another line that's just like the line I had and I don't have to go through all those steps again. So from here, if I want to attach it and then drag it up to whatever angle I want, I can do it that way. And so that's probably going to be the easiest. And there you go. So that's a pretty easy way to do that. Again, I can pull it down, up, try to line it up so that I don't have any gaps in it. So that looks pretty cool there. And then I've got to have one more line jutting out this way. So again, I can just duplicate it, hit Control D. That's going to be the easiest. Pull this line over, kind of angle it out so it's about the same angle there. I'm going to have it come right out of this corner. And again, I can adjust from here. I can adjust the angle and I can make it shorter or longer. So however I want. So something like that's gonna look good. 
And so you sort of see the way this is coming along. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out. There you go. So now you can really see my, my design. Now I do want to put in the text here. So pretty easy. I'm going to hit T for text and I'm going to pull up a text box. So the first one I'm going to do is just HO. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a font. This is a nice happy design. So I want sort of a happy handwritten or kids looking font. So I can come up here to select fonts and I can search handwritten. I can search cute. I can search kids. So however you want to try to search, I'm gonna put handwritten. So again, I can do handwritten. I'm not looking for anything in cursive, but I am looking for something that's just sort of cute. So that one's kind of cute. And if I want it to be a little bit more narrow, I can do it that way. So right now this is a school bell. And I can put that there. So let's say that's the writing that I want. I can go ahead then and just duplicate that and put it all around. Not sure I like that writing though. It's a little bit more jagged than I like. I like it a little more round. That one's a little nicer. You know, you can play with it. It doesn't really matter which one you go with. That one's a little too thick. You can just sort of see how I play around with that. I like that. So let's say I want to do that one. I can go ahead and hit Control D because I know I'm going to have some text here and I can do it again. Control D because I know I'm going to have some text here and now I can just change the text. So this is just going to be an N. So on my keyboard, I'm just going to type N and this one is going to be NH2. So for this one, NH2, something like that. And so now you can see how my design has come along from this to this. So from here, I actually kind of like that. I think it looks nice. Um, I might want to add in some of these lines here. So again, I can go ahead and just put a line. So let's say I pull up another line. So I hit L because this time I want the line to be quite a bit thinner. And so let's say I'm going to stick with white. And I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker, but not nearly as thick as the backdrop. So maybe that's a 16. And I can bring it up, make it diagonal, and I'm gonna put it right over my picture. I have to angle it to line it up right. As close as I can. Something like that looks good. And now I can just control D on that one. Next, it's gonna come over here. I'm gonna angle it this way. Perfect, and I'm gonna do one more control D. <clears throat> and take this right down here. So something like that. So you can see how I've now put in the lines. I can do one over here as well. <clears throat> so last one here. I'm gonna put it right somewhere there. It's a little hard to see, but there. Okay, so now I have my lines in. So it looks like a molecule of serotonin. So I do like that. From here, I don't need my my design or my um, template anymore. I can get rid of that. So I like the way this looks. So now what I can do is group this all together. So again, I can click anywhere on the screen and drag over the whole image. Now it is all grouped together. I can hit group and now it is one image. So I can move it all over. I can center it. I can resize it. So from here, I can do however I want. In fact, from here, if at this point I wanted to angle it, maybe this way or this way, I could angle it so my smiley face is now upright. So that's one way you can do it. Once you get it angled the way that you want it, I can do something like that. Looks pretty good. I might make it a little smaller just because it's right up against the edge, but something like that looks good. And so now to complete this design, I'm gonna put don't worry up here in text. So I'm gonna pull up one more text box. 
and it's going to come right up here and I'm going to type don't worry <coughs> again I can make this as big or as small as I like and I can play with the colors as well so I can keep it white or at this point if I want to change some of these colors I can let's say I want this to be that nice blue color down there I can pull that in right there if I want it to be just a smidge lighter I can come up here I can always just move it down a little bit to make it a little lighter but still within the same kind of family so maybe something like that I like maybe I want these letters here to be a yellow color so I can just ungroup this if I want to edit any of these now that it's ungrouped I can move all of these again so you got to be careful but I'm going to hit each one of these letters and I'm just going to go ahead and pick a color for each of those so I can do it something like that so now I have don't worry and there I've got all of my my cool serotonin molecule and so that's an easy way that you can kind of create your own design using lines and shapes so this was made entirely just using individual little lines uh, a little little line there and then some shape graphics and some um, frames so it's an easy one to do this is again a serotonin molecule um, it's for mental health awareness month because uh, serotonin is one of your neurotransmitters um, that works you know in your brain to help you know, control things like happiness um, so again simple design you can make and that's it so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna title this don't worry and I can go ahead and download it now so I can hit share I can hit download oops didn't work <coughs> keep it as a PNG go ahead and do a transparent backdrop and click download and that's all there is to it so that is it for this one that's it for today's video if you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos as always keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time